Favorite visits. <laughs> what are you doing here? Val came to see us. She told us you were at home sick. We didn't want to say you were with us by the lake, but Annie spilled the beans. I told the truth that you saved me. <laughs> You're my sunshine. <sighs> but Grandma didn't believe us. Your grandmother worries about you. I don't blame her. She loves you. <coughs> uh, we brought you some tea to help you feel better. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'll go get a mug. <laughs> All right. We could also feed your chickens for yeah, you. Yeah, I want to feed the chickens. <laughs> Thank you, girls. They're very sweet. You will like them. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can also sell your pies on the side of the road. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Children have no business selling anything on the side of the road. It'll be fine. <laughs> I said no. Don't even think about it. Especially since tomorrow I'll be selling yesterday's pies. I'm sure they'll still be good. Everyone knows your pies are the best in the village. <laughs> no. I said no, period. I'll tell you where to find the food for the chickens now. <laughs> Frida's not here, and the food is not selling. And why would that be, dear? Valentina says she's sick. She stopped by to see her this morning. She was in bed, feeling ill. Very sick. <laughs> I don't think so. It's the middle of the summer. Besides, it's Frida. <laughs> yeah, she says it's just a cold. But how can someone get a cold these days? Only by swimming at the lake? <laughs> yeah, and the whole village knows you can't swim in that lake. Frida's smarter than that. Yes, then it seems like Frida is not being entirely honest. She might be lying. <laughs> Chick, 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 we could even make a sign. It's the perfect plan, so they know they're free to ask. We'll tell Grandma that we went to draw the sunrise. <laughs> Come back soon. Thank you. Come, come try the best pies. Frida's Pie. specialty. They're yes. so good. The pies, thank you. Annie, quickly. Here you go. Do you know what would happen if your grandmother found out that you're here by the road? You wouldn't tell her, right? Me? Not at all. Of course not. I wouldn't. But you know, it's a small village. Everyone knows everything. People, people talk and talk and talk. Hmm. What does the village say about my dad? Why do you ask about your dad? Well, I was just wondering... Why did he plant a tree in Frida's backyard? How would I know that? Well, you just said everybody knows everything here. <sighs> Better ask Frida. It was a long time ago. I don't remember. 
Mom, I'm on my way there right now. Because I wanted to finish early. I want to stay with you, and I want to see the kids. There will always be more work to do. And I just miss them so much. Yes, of course I missed you too. To draw the sunrise? Don't worry about it. I'll pick them up when I get there. Yes, I'll do it as soon as I get there. Yeah, bye. Come, only today come we have pie. three delicious pies for sale. Come, come get your it. pies only oh, today. Come on, everyone, run, come get your pies. Uh, run, 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 come on, it's Dad. How you Hello, doing? Gladys. So this is how you draw the sunrise? Dad, we're sorry we can explain. Take this sign, please. And you get in the car now. Quick. You did it on purpose, didn't you? To make me look like a bad father. Well, I am a great father. They've got clothes, food, they're healthy, they go to school. Oh. They are. You have beautiful, wonderful children. Is that why you send them off to the side of the road? To sell your pies for you? While you stay home, relaxing? Send them to sell pies for me? I just picked them up by the road. That's not, that's not possible, Paul. There it is, that innocent look. Just like 15 years ago. Don't say that, Paul. Don't try to fool me, Frida, not anymore. First you fool me, and then my children, and then you act like the most innocent woman. Those are not your words, they're your mother's. It's fine. It's how it's always been. I still dream about you planting that tree. And about us watching films. Son, why are you doing this? You said the kids would stay here the whole summer, and now you take them away? What will people say? That I'm a bad grandmother? Mom, is that all you care about, other people? Son, I fed them dinner and tucked them into bed. How did they end up by the road, then? I'm sure Frida asked them to. Why would they obey Frida instead of you? Because she knows how to manipulate, and I'm an honest person. Let's ask the kids where they want to stay, with Grandma in the country or in the city. Yes, when they're older. For now, it's my decision. So you're eavesdropping on me now. Dad, I left my drawings at Frida's garden. Run.
sorry, Aphrodite. We just wanted to help. We told Daddy it was not your fault, but he wouldn't listen to us. We wanted to stay here. We're going to miss you. We'll try to come see you as soon as we can. Okay, kids, go wash your hands and unpack your things. I'll make us some dinner, we'll eat, and then you're off to bed. Come on, hurry now. Dad, come on, it's way too early for bed. That's it, kids. You'll have a schedule from now on. You need to learn some discipline. Max, did you hear me? I'll take the day off tomorrow. All day. Is that okay? I promise. Hello. Hello. Are you feeling better? No. How did you get so sick, Frida? What were you doing in the water? Were you trying to drown yourself? Of course not. It was hot and I went in for a swim. Listen, I needed some flour, so I ran to the store, but by the time I got there, it was closed. Val, are you okay? Are you crying about flour? What's wrong? I can give you some flour. Frida. Frida. What's wrong, Val? Pete is moving to the city tomorrow. Oh, I get it. That's why you're crying. Pete's moving to the city to learn new things and become a man. He'll be fine. That's easy for you to say. Oh, calm down. Frida, Frida, please forgive me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Forgive me, It's Frida. okay, don't worry. Do you know where the flower is? Yeah. Go. Listen, I thought about baking some cakes for my son to take on the road. Mm -hmm. So I won't, I won't be coming to the side of the road. I'm gonna go to town. I'll walk up to the train station. <laughs> and I'll say goodbye to him. Val, well, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. What's the problem? Do you want me to go with you tomorrow? Is that it? Would that help? You come? Yes, sure. I could buy fabric. I want to make a new dress because mine don't fit anymore and they're old. I want to be there for you. You know, when I saw Paul here at the village again, it reminded me of when we were young. Nasty asked me about the apple tree that Paul planted in your garden. What did you tell her? Nothing. I told her I couldn't remember. If you want, you could tell her yourself. Good. Our apple tree is still growing in the garden. Kill me over some turnovers. Well, I've been driving all day. I'm starving. Uh -huh, yeah, don't make excuses. What? Frida's not here today. Where is she? She went to town, to the district center, to keep well company. But don't worry, she'll be back. Nastia 
tie my ribbons for me. Come here. We'll finally go for a walk as a family. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, the phone ringing. Go. Dad, your phone's ringing. Thanks. Yes, hello? What do we do about it, Paul? The windows have been delivered. That coffee Dad, ready. let's go to the site Quiet. immediately. I'm listening. We've got a huge problem here at the site. They say that their material and costs are rising. You know that. We could return it now, but you signed a contract with them. Isn't that right, Paul? We really need you here. You need to come. Don't know what else to do, and we could get in a lot of trouble here. You need to come to the site soon. Please, I'm begging you, Paul. I understand. I'm on my way. Kids, I need to go to work. We'll do it another day. I promise. You always say we'll do it another day. I knew this was coming. I'm hungry, and the only thing we have are dead mice. Dead mice? Nastia said that a mouse died inside the fridge during the weekend. That's right, that's what I said. What can I do? Take you to the site with me? You could see the house that I'm building. It's huge. I want to go? Sure. <laughs> What is Greg doing over there? I'm sure he needs some pies for the jelly. But I didn't make any pies yesterday. <laughs> What's so funny? Frida, I'll go home now. What? Where? Aren't you having tea with me? You can have some tea with him. I'll see you later. Greg! Uh -huh. What are you doing here? Uh. Hello. Hello. I stopped by your place to get pies and you weren't there, you know? No, there's no pies today. Uh, okay, I didn't come for uh -huh. pies. <laughs> Listen, would you bake a cake for me? A cake? Yeah, sure. A cake. Yes. You will? Mm -hmm. Wait, so you'll bake it? It's my sister's birthday and mm -hmm. she's got a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. Just like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so then I thought if your pies are so delicious and tasty, Maybe you could bake a cake for her that's as delicious as your pies. So you need a cake then? Exactly. Of course I can. Let me see. I can pick it up tomorrow. Great, stop by tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's settled. I'll come pick up the cake tomorrow and... Tomorrow. Tomorrow then. I hate this truck. It's such a mess. Stupid truck. I hate you. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Lucy, do you think we can meet? I need to talk to you. Wait a second. I only toast with wine. <laughs> Lucy, I'm driving tonight. Paul, why don't you just leave the car? I live around here. You could stay with me for the night. Hmm? My kids are by themselves at home. Can't you just live your life for at least one night? I'm sorry. I see now. All the mistakes I made with you. From now on, I will be a good mother to your children. But first... <laughs> a romantic evening. Here's to you. Cheers. I'm 
I'm sorry. Sorry, give me a second. I'm listening. What's going on? That's not possible. So I can never have a night for myself? So what? I already told you that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course not. Hey. Hey, get out of here immediately. She's with me. It seems like you're busy. Can you Paul, hear me? Easy. Get out. What if I don't? Please, please, just leave. Calm down. Paul, calm down. My love, I'm sorry. Why did he approach you? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You were smiling. You were busy. I saw you. <laughs> you were on the phone. I was on the phone, so what? Friday. You're such an artist. It's a beautiful cake. Good. Happy birthday. I also have a cardboard box, so the cake doesn't get all over your truck. It's beautiful. I'll go get it. Wait a minute, wait. I want to talk to you about... The cake is... The cake is... The cake... The cake is... Cake... Cake, cake, the cake is just an excuse. Mm. An excuse? What do you mean? It's not your sister's birthday? I could have gotten the cake anywhere. Come on, you don't think I could? Nowadays you go into any store and right there, cake. And anything you want. But if I told you that all I wanted was to come see you, you would have said no. That's you. I know you. And I know that you, you broke up with Oleg. I know, mm -hmm. and I, you know. So you want to take his spot, huh? Listen, Frida, I'm fine the way I am. Oh, yeah? Yes, fine. But I want, I just, I want. What? What I'm saying is, I really think I want to, Frida. What, Sam? I've decided I want to get married. I want to marry you. That's it, Frida. <laughs> but why would you want to marry me? Why would I? Yes. Because this is important. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I want to get married. It's mm -hmm. time now. And I want to uh, have children soon. <laughs> and I need a normal wife. Ordinary. An average woman. I really don't want a picky woman. Not so very that's beautiful. that's who I am, huh? Exactly, Frida. That's you. You don't think so? Or you tell me. But just look at you. Believe me. I know how to read people. And I don't want a young girl with the wind in her face. She would ask too much of me. Uh, and you're an older woman. It's just the truth. You've got your feet on the ground. What's wrong? Why are you laughing, huh? Greg. Greg what? Are you making fun of me? Tell me. <laughs> Greg. What is so funny? <laughs> I came here to ask you to marry me. I'm asking you right now. Please marry me. What is so funny? <laughs> All right, Greg. If what worries you is that you're not pretty enough, that no one would love you, don't worry, dear. On the contrary, I like you more. When you're with a young woman and you're out of town, you always wonder who she's with, what she's doing. And with you, Frida, it's different. I won't worry. Thanks, Greg, for being so honest. You're welcome. Yes, that's me. I'm an honest and straightforward man. It's all inside here, and here I am. Here I am with you. Yes, good for you. Good. We'll make a good couple. I know it. Greg, the 
it? What about love? Love? Love is only in the movies. It's all okay. We'll go watch movies. On the weekends. Hello? What kind of magic is this? Did the cleaning fairy visit you? It looks amazing. Who did all this? Why are you looking at me like that? I told you I'll be here this morning. What's wrong? Tell me what's going on. Come on, tell me. Dad, cut to the chase. Did you get back with Lucy? Well, we want to try again. We knew it. Lucy wants to be a good mother to you, kids. She's not bad. She just lacks experience with kids. Is that what she told you? Okay. Tell me what to do. Because I don't know. I need to travel for work. Where are you going to stay then? We can stay at home by ourselves. You're just a girl. All of you are children. You can't be here alone. Dad, we spent last night by ourselves. And we cleaned the house. And we can also warm up frozen dinners by yourselves, too. Yeah! Well done. But it was just one day. And I want you to have a real family. Please, I'm begging you. Can we just try to be a family again? today. I spent the whole day baking a cake for Greg yesterday. I couldn't bake any pies. <laughs> Frida, mm -hmm. what happened? <laughs> Nothing happened. Something did happen. Tell me. <laughs> well, Greg asked me to marry him. <laughs> That's such great news. <laughs> mm. He gave me a week to think about it. I don't know if I should cry or laugh. Frida, don't cry. Don't laugh. Just say yes. What are you crazy? What? Frida. Listen, you know what they say. A woman withers without a man in the house. Like a flower without water. She withers when there is no love. Yeah? Yeah. To love a man, you need to know him first. And to get to know him, you need to live with him. You know all of his flaws and all of his virtues. That's how true love is born. Out of respect, gratitude, and companionship. Val. What do you think I did? Did I marry my husband for love? No. My parents insisted. They wanted me to marry young. And then the right man showed up in front of me. And now his pain is my pain. And his joy is my joy. I can't imagine life without him. He's the love of my life. Oh, Frida. children. You don't want them? Maybe and the princess gave all her necklaces pearls away to all the villagers who needed her help. This is nonsense. 
Why do they teach this stuff to kids at school? She gives all her pearls away, she's left with nothing, <laughs> and then no one thanks her for it? <laughs> the princess is good. She's not selfish. Well, the princess will be left with nothing. That's it. Time for bed. That's not how you read a story. Your turn. So dreams. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we thought that Lucy was a different person now. Why did Dad bring us here? Should we ask him to take us to the village? Nastia, don't you know, Dad? When he makes a decision, no one can convince him otherwise. I know. Which story do you want to hear? I want the pearl necklace story again. Lucy didn't read it right. <sighs> You're not pretty enough. Who could ever love you? He's right. people said about me. No one has said anything. Mm -hmm. You don't seem to be in a great mood today, huh? <laughs> well, I watched your TV show last night and the story made me very what sad. What TV show? My show already finished. You watched that episode with me. Is that why you stopped visiting? Frida, well, I... It's not that. You visit me, Gladys. They say the new show starts really soon. Frida, I don't want you to think that I... Come, but don't make any excuses, all right? Come visit me. I enjoy your company. You do? When can I come? Maybe I'll have a guest there soon, don't you think? Oh, you see? And you said people weren't talking about me. Listen, girls, has anyone asked about my hair today? Yes, there's a dress from last year's collection, but it's on sale now. I really don't know what to do. Would you buy it? Because what if it has a defect and they're not telling me? And I do have shoes that go with it. But I don't have a purse. No, I know that shoes don't need to be perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, I really need to get a new purse. Yes, like the one on the magazine? Oh yeah, I'll be ready before you get there. Yes, we could even go shopping later. What do you think? Yeah, sure, I'll see you very soon. <laughs> yeah, we could go to that new shop, that, the one that just opened? Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, we could eat there. I mean, we could, we could go to that new Italian place. Yeah, I like that one. That one's good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you. Stop it. <gasps> ah! Little monsters! Where are you, little monsters? So this is how you want me to treat you? The same way you treat me? That's how it is? While Pa's gone, I'll hide your computers, I'll take all your stuff and hide it as well. I'm going out and you stay here and think about your behavior. You better think about what you did. When are we going out for a walk? When you learn how to behave correctly.
What's wrong? My heart is racing, and I feel dizzy. I don't feel well. Do you have medicine for it? Yes. It, it should be in the kitchen on mm -hmm. the table. I can't stand up. And I didn't milk the cow. Don't worry about it. I'll do it. Oh. Hello? Hello? Hello, Dad. Why are you picking up the phone, son? Everything's fine. We were playing hide and seek and didn't want to come out. Okay, good. How are you? You're not fighting with Lucy? No, of course not. Everything is peace and quiet here. That's good. I need to stay here a little longer. They need me. Hug your sisters. Okay, Dad, I will. Bye-bye. Why did you tell Dad everything's fine? I didn't want him to know. We're not little kids. And what can you do? Quit his job? So we'll spend the entire summer here fighting with Lucy? Hmm. I've got an idea. <laughs> I've made you some herbal tea. It'll help you feel better. Thank you. Thank you so much. That cow you have out there is so smart. I pet her and she's calm now. Why do you do this, Frida? I've been so mean to you. And here you are, helping me out. Well, that's in the past now. And I think you need my help. I've been such a fool. I've been blind and unable to see the, the great woman you've become, Frida. <laughs> oh no, don't even worry about it. Yes. I shouldn't worry, but... Ever since Paul took the children back to the city, I haven't been able to find peace again. I'm exhausted. And today, I... I just collapsed. Paul loves his kids very much. He only wants what's best for them. I'm sure he didn't mean it. I've been unfair to you many times in the past. And I made things worse with my grandchildren. <sighs> Maybe they're better off staying in the city. I don't think they're fine. Since Paul is getting back with Lucy. <gasps> with whom? With his ex-girlfriend. After his wife, Kate, passed away, he got together with Lucy. Oh, that woman, she's a real slut. I met her when I visited. She's not nice to the kids. And now Paul's back with her. I can't stand her. I, I called them. I wanted to talk to the kids, but she picked up the phone. She's living there now. Wait, but wait, just stay a little longer. I'll be back soon. I've got a lot to do, but I'll visit you. Yeah? You need to rest now. Don't get up. Okay, okay. I just thought of something. Great, what's that? You'll know soon enough. Our best wishes for Lucy. <laughs>
<laughs> and done. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the village. I've got the map. Let's go that way. Come on. <laughs> we'll see. It's fine. It's fine. No love only exists in the world. It's fine. Frida. Ah. Greg. Frida. You scared me. I know I scared you. It was a joke. <laughs> Look, surprise! <laughs> it, it hasn't been a week yet. I don't have an answer for you. I know, but I, I wanted to stop by. Tell me, what do women want? What do they really want? What do they need? <laughs> um, so I thought that I could... I could get... get some, um, flowers. But they would wither and... What a waste Great. of money. So I brought seeds. This is hyacinth. This is daffodil. And anyway, <laughs> they last a long time. We should plant them together and we'll smell them together when they grow. If you want, they're <laughs> Thank for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are so practical, Greg. <laughs> Frida? Mm -mm. Have you got some soup? Testing me? No, it wasn't a test. Not at all. But I need to make sure that I made the right choice. You say that as if I've already said yes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to do it. You must accept me. I'm your best choice. Mm. And I'm glad you are still available. Lucky me. Lucky me. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad. Uh, so, um, do you want some more? Is there more? <laughs> Greg. What? It's potato soup. Uh -huh. Yes, please. <laughs> My dear kids, how did you get here? That drove you again? Mm. Can we stay with you for a couple days? So that Grandma doesn't know, or she'll tell Dad. I can make you a portrait, if you want. Yes. All right, all right. Come sit here. I want to know what happened and what can we do. <laughs> Wait here. Greg, you need huh? to go now. Here, I'll walk you out. Huh? Let's go. Wait. Hello. Um, he is my good friend Greg, who was just leaving. Greg, come on. Let's go. Uh, hi, I'm so happy to see you, my dear Frida. children. Are these your children? Frida, have you have you been pretending to be a virginal princess? Greg. What were you thinking, Frida? Do you want me to feed three more mouths or what? I don't First get it. First of all, sir, it's Aphrodite, not Frida. And second of all, you need to know who's who before accusing her of anything. You need to apologize to her right now. 
What did you just say? Uh, you insulted the lady. Apologize you? to her. Maxine, that's not necessary. Greg, leave now. But Frida... I said No, Frida. Now. I didn't expect this from you. No, I did not, huh? You're not the woman I thought you were. So, why is everyone just standing around? I, for one, would like cake and tea. <laughs> you are my sunshine. Come to the table. Come on, come on. Oh, my darling kiss. will make them pay. Max, you haven't eaten anything. If you don't like it, I've also got soup. Do you want some? He didn't apologize to you. Oh. That's no reason to be upset. It is. I couldn't make him apologize to you. You are just like your father. He would always fight for justice. He was so stubborn. Greg ran away because he sensed that you were stronger than him. Yeah, but he offended you. When a relative offends you, you feel sad. But when a stranger offends you, you feel sorry for the him. The truth is, he's too ugly for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm just so happy to see all of you again. <laughs> yeah. Pick up. Pick up the phone, spoiled brats. <sighs> Lucy's calling. What are we gonna do? Oh, you didn't tell your dad that you were coming? It is right. Lucy will call Dad, and then he'll know we're not home. Hmm, yes, and then Dad will come pick us up. The main thing is to stay here. Okay, we will have to make a deal with Lucy. H Hello? Okay, hi, it's me. Oh, Nastia. Uh, hello, my dear. Please tell me. Where are you? The thing is... What a coincidence! We're just about to call you. <laughs> yeah, and why did you call? Lucy, we don't want to get you in any more trouble. Oh, really? So you went out for a walk? Uh, we came to visit Grandma. What? But you don't need to worry. What do you mean visiting <laughs> Such Grandma? Such a long... Diplomatic. <laughs> get back here right now! We already called Dad. Ugh, I'm glad to hear that. Take a break from us, oh, Lucy. All right, now, yeah. Hey, what did you guys do to my Your shoes? Your shoes? Yeah, my shoes. Talking about. Yeah, they got glue on them. Glue? Yeah, they're glued to the floor. Wait, the floor? <laughs> no, maybe some glue. Shoes, 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 She'll see you. What are you going to do, stay inside all the time? I really want you to stay here. I mean it. We want that too. She loves you so much. And if she sees you here, what will happen? Grandma will cry. Yes, of course she will. Uh-huh. But if we go to Grandma's, she's going to call Dad. No, maybe she won't. She wouldn't want Dad to come pick us up and take us home. She'll take us to her place. Okay, you know what? We're having dinner, and after we'll go to Grandma's place. We'll tell her everything. Polly, hello, sweetie. Sweetie, how are you? The kids and I miss you so much. 
And I... I miss you in a special way. Come home soon. Because I... I can't wait any longer. Mm. Listen. I almost forgot there's something I need to tell you. Uh, it's rather urgent. Lucy, why don't you wait and tell me about it tomorrow? I've got work to do. All right? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, bye. Was that your wife? Close. Oh, your girlfriend then. She loves you and worries. Man, I kind of just stopped thinking about love many years ago. Why? The important thing is that the kids are fine. That's it. Don't say that, Paul. Look at my father. He's 70. He won't give up. And suddenly he met a 60-year-old woman and married her immediately. He's in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love. I have had love in my life. I had a great love. I'll never have one just like it. And I won't accept anything less. Well said. All right, let's go over this blueprint. So, in the fourth section, we have the installation of the floors and tile. It's like a treasure trove. <laughs> Look at me. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Nastia, do you remember which page are the portraits? Let me see. Frida, look at me. I'm a prince. <laughs> You're a princess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we go to Grandma's now? Max wants to draw your portrait. And I found the dress. <laughs> yeah, I'd really love to draw a few sketches. <laughs> You're still thinking about drawing my portrait? Of course I am. <laughs> you should draw Nastia or Annie instead. You'll get more beauty there, I'm just... Why would you say that? Why do you speak of yourself like that? <laughs> Can you see your own beauty? What? Has no one told you how beautiful you are? What are you talking about? I mean... Yeah, maybe you're not a fashion model, but you've got a great personality. The <laughs> things you say, Nastia. Found it. <laughs> 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 Lucy, think. You need to figure out how to get back at those kids. So they went to see Grandma. To the village? Very well. I want you to look at the mirror. So you'll see how beautiful you are. Those bright eyes, that wonderful smile, and your hair. How did you do it? I don't... I don't look like myself. Aphrodite, <laughs> you are ready for the party. <laughs> <laughs> no, ready for a date. <laughs> oh, stop it, kids. <laughs> I found you a necklace. Put it on. Oh, this necklace was my grandmother's. I love it. I also found a pair of shoes. Oh, oh. They look great on you. I forgot about these. <laughs> you're the prettiest, Aphrodite. You guys work magic. No, you're the one who's magical. Oh, my sunshine. Stuff and I brought them here. Frida, you look different. What did you do? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, huh? I don't know. You don't look like someone from the village. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come in. Come <laughs> Thank in. you. I'm so happy. Oh, it's not night time yet. Not night time yet. Uh. 
I haven't slept well oh, 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 because I've been dreaming of you. I have been dreaming of you tonight. Uh, bravo! <laughs> Lucy, how did you get here this late? Hi, Tatiana, how are you? I took a taxi to see my beloved children. <laughs> a taxi? From mm -hmm. the city? Hmm, that must have been expensive, that taxi. Doesn't matter. Whatever it takes to be able to spend a little more time with my dear kids. <laughs> of course, it's Dad's money. Okay, hmm. I'd better go now. Good night, no, everybody. Don't leave. See you later. Stay, Aphrodite. Mm -mm. Frida, I mean it. Stay. No. But oh, we're no, having no. a little party here. <laughs> no, I'll go. You're leaving us? No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your tea. Okay, so yeah. should we keep singing? <laughs> Lucy, do you want to sing? I do like singing, but... I'd rather just listen. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> the night is turning scarlet <laughs> where the waves crash against the rocks. <laughs> Let's go for a walk, my beautiful girl. I'm One second, I'll bring you some milk. Mrs. Tatiana, where are you going? To milk the cow. Oh, I love cows. I've always dreamed of milking cows. Well, then you do it. <laughs> Is she really going to milk the cow? Poor little cow. The cow's oh. name is Zuni. Is anybody home? Max? Lucy? Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, oh Lucy, Lucy. Ah. Sacrificing all this for love. Well, darling? <laughs> Can you do that for me? Please. Uh, I should spray perfume on you. Look at her. <laughs> Do it yourself, then, you stupid cow. I've got a supermarket saleswoman certificate. By the way, I don't need to be doing this. <laughs> I'm going to rescue Suni, kids. <laughs> oh, my poor Suni. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Max, where are you? Where's Lucy? Uh, she's milking the cow. What is Lucy doing? Mm -hmm. Milking the cow. What? Dad, we're at Grandma's. What do you mean at Grandma's? I came home early to surprise you. Dad, I'm sorry. We wanted to call you yesterday to let you know, but... Hello? Nancy, is that you? Yeah, hello, Daddy. Are you with Grandma? Yeah, we're doing great. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Lucy's doing well, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say hi to Grandma for me, please. Sure, Daddy. Okay, bye. We love you, Daddy. Come see you. us. Okay, I will.
to call you. Mm, how about Aphrodite? <laughs> Tell us. You get plastic surgery. Bob! <laughs> Could she have done it? If you're always with her, watch her. I didn't get plastic, plastic surgery. surgery. I was just told something and I decided to believe it. What were you told? That beauty comes from within and that when you love yourself, everyone sees it. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> How long have you been waiting, kids? Hello, Aphrodite. Actually, we just got here. We wanted to come and do your portrait. Should we go in then? Yeah. <laughs> Come on in, little monsters. <laughs> come in, come in. Head when you made me. You're so talented. <laughs> I thought you liked the portrait because you look beautifully. But you're just happy for us. It's nice to be happy for other people. <laughs> you're nice. <laughs> now look at mine, Frida. It looks just <laughs> like me. <laughs> you three make me so happy. <sighs> How do you do this? Not like that. I don't get it. <laughs> Lucy, how do you cook for the kids back home? <laughs> back home, I don't need to cook like you do. I can order a pizza or just buy frozen dinners. It's great, you just warm it up and it's ready. <laughs> mm, sounds great. <laughs> Mom. Son! <laughs> Son! Oh. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Lucy, I see you've been cooking. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the kids to Grandma. Uh, uh, Paul, oh, actually... Oh, Tatiana, why don't you let Paul rest a little? He's very tired from driving. Let him take a bath. I'll get you a towel. Tatiana, can you hand me a clean towel, please? Hello. Hi. Hi, Nancy. Hi, son. Hello, Dad. You did well to visit your grandmother. She's so happy. We're happy too, Dad. Mm -hmm. Let me see your drawing, dear. She drew our Aphrodite. 
Oh, the little ones are here. Grandma and I made dinner. It's ready now. <laughs> My sweet kids. Is this Frida? I'm here to ask for forgiveness. I... It wasn't me. I didn't send the kids to sell pies by the side of the road. Oh, yeah. That too. <laughs> what do you mean, then? I was a complete idiot. Fifteen years ago. <laughs> Frida. These eyes... I didn't notice when I was here, last time. But the kids showed me your portrait. Max saw it, but I didn't. You're the same, the same woman I loved. Frida! Frida! Greg, why are you here? I came to apologize to you, and I brought you this. This is for you. A gift, okay? It'll be useful. There, for you. Okay, that's it. Frida. Frida. Who's this? He said... Greg, that's my name. Greg. And I'm her boyfriend. And I'm going to marry her. <laughs> yep, that's right. Paul. Greg. Looks like I came in a bad time. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Frida. How did this happen? Can't believe it, Frida. <laughs> There's always mystery with you. You really surprised me. It's fine. It will all be fine. I understand. Mm -hmm. You're no longer young. I get it. But don't worry. This is going to work. I know it. Because I am a man of my word. And you know I gave you my word. So then, I'm still I going to marry you. All right? Decided that this time I'm not leaving. Frida, who is this? Paul. Paul? Yes, that's right, Paul. And you're leaving. Bye. Well, you're a brave man, Paul. You're so brave, huh? Do you know who I am? Greg! Do you know who I Greg, am? Don't. You're a coward! Paul! I'm braver than you! Paul! Uh, Greg! Wait a second. Uh, Let her decide. Who needs to go? Stop it! She and I had I an said, agreement! Wait. She'll decide who's gonna leave. Paul, you stay and don't ever leave again. Frida! I'm begging you. Frida! Uh, Greg! But. Uh, oh. Bye! But I'm watching him. Hmm. Hmm. Frida, you... You're crazy. And that guy is crazy, too. You both are. You're crazy. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't believe it. What Frida, a mess. My dear, I'm so sorry. I had to. Had to do what I couldn't do 15 years ago. I'm sorry. Oh, you'll never leave me again. No, never again. <laughs> Paul, you need to go. But why? Paul... Frida. Listen. Why? You need to leave. You... asked me to never leave That's you. what I wanted. That's what I want, Paul, but... But you need to leave. Please, leave. Uh, Please. What's wrong? You're with Lucy. Uh, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. I'd forgotten about her. It's about Lucy. <laughs> Frida. My love. Is this about Lucy? Don't worry. I'll go see her, and I'll be right back. Even if you leave right now and you never come back to me, I will always be grateful for this day. My love, just wait. I won't be long, all right? I'll be back. Wait for me. I'll be quick. Mother, 
Mother, why are you digging? What are you doing? Your blood pressure's bad. I sent the kids to take a walk by the river. They needed to rest. Go inside and get some rest. I'll call someone tomorrow to come and do this. Okay. I'll pay them. They can come tomorrow, but I'll finish this today. <sighs> oh, my love, you're here. <laughs> Lucy, we need to talk. This is never going to work. What is not going to work? What do you mean? I mean our relationship. Is never going to work? What are you saying? So wait, you don't have any money? Who do you think you are, Paul? All this time you've given me false hope? You spent weeks at the construction site, and still there's no money. I always buy everything on sale. Wait, I'm not talking about money. I mean... I'm talking about us. Love. Ah, uh, I get it. This is about the kids, right? They have turned you against me, haven't they? I hate them. Enough. That's it. Your bus leaves in an hour. A bus? <laughs> That's how it is? A bus? If you want, I can call you a taxi. Uh-huh. Yes, at least you can do that. Is that it? Is that all you have to say to me? No, it's not all. Paul, you ruined a year of my life. Thanks to you, I have two more wrinkles and a gray hair. I do not need you. Who would need you? A widower with three kids who has nothing but hopes for a brighter future? Huh? Paul? Paul, forgive me. Paul, I overreacted. Paul, Paul. What are you looking at? So I amuse you? Huh? I don't care what you think. Villagers. What should I do? How did I get into this? Things are not like they were before. What could I offer now? Manaya are so different. Money. Uh, no, I've got enough. It takes money to find a new man. Do you think I get manicure, pedicure, and a lace underwear? Just because I like them? No, I worked hard for this. Yes, I really tried to take care of the kids. This is ridiculous. Seriously ridiculous. Oh. Milk a cow? Of course I will. And he... That man just used me this whole time. <laughs> what? What am I doing? I am an idiot. Oh my god. This is nonsense. <laughs> Would be here. I'm glad you found me. I've got something to tell you. It's about my past. I, I made a huge mistake. All right? When I was young, when I loved Frida, back then I didn't know. I didn't know what to do with that. Frida, do you love her more than you love our mother? Nasi, darling, no one could ever replace your mother. But Frida, she could be a true friend to you all. She truly loves you after all. And to you? She is the woman I love.
Wait, what's wrong? Are you jealous? You don't need to be. You always be my favorite people in this world. Uh, Frida is not such a good person after all. Wait a second. You guys love Frida. You said you love spending time with her, didn't That's you? That's true. Frida turned out to be just like Lucy. She's looking for someone to get married to, that's all. And she was smarter than Lucy because she got close to you by using us. I'm sorry for leaving you with Lucy. I wanted to help. I mean it. children. Do you understand that? You will be happy with her and you'll forget about us. How can you say that? How about we make a deal? If you tell me right now, Dad, I don't want you to marry her and find happiness, then I won't. I won't marry her. I never will. I promise. Thanks. It'll be Thanks. 400, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. I don't know. Did you steal something? Why are you running? I don't know where to go. It's like if I had stolen something, but I'll leave me alone and tell people I want to buy fabric. Tell them now. Go, please. Frida, Frida, tell me what happened. I'm your friend. What are you talking about? Is it about Paul? Did something happen with Paul, Frida? I ruined our lives, Belle. Of course you won't. His life is in pieces without you. And it's all because he couldn't build a life with you, Frida. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm scared. I'm terrified. You understand? I've never had a real family before. And it looks easy and simple from the outside, but I know how. I'll ruin it. Frida, I'll calm down. Lives. Dear, calm down. I'll ruin everything. Frida, you love him. You love Paul. And mistakes are fixed with love. I don't know what to do. This. Listen to me right now. I would have given anything to be loved by Paul. Please be happy. Now that life has brought you two back together. Listen to me. Listen now. You can't just leave like that. <laughs> you can't run away and leave him like this now that he loves you so much. He will only be happy when he's with you, with no one else, Frida. Don't you get it? Frida, I'm not telling you this is a friend. I'm telling you this is as the woman who wanted to have Paul's love. Don't leave. Why is she leaving? You've got to do something. We need to stop her. Let's go. She's still by the road. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Hurry.
This is destiny. Frida, this is destiny. Let me tell you. <laughs> I had to drive all the way to the city and... Wait, what happened to that guy? He's no longer in there. Good, Frida. You're strong. You're a woman on fire. So then I drove to the city because they called me and said that Nick's truck had broken down. So he couldn't deliver his packages and they asked me to do it for him. But they assured me I wouldn't make it back here today. But I said that I could and I made it. And here I am. I really am. Can't you see? It really is destiny. Frida. Frida. I'm so glad I made it on time. I'm just scared of you disappearing from my life once again. <laughs> I won't disappear. She's the reason for all my problems, then. She wants to steal what's mine. Thief! Thief! Where are you, thief? Excuse me? Oh, there you are, thief. So you decided to steal someone else's man. Get out of here. I'm warning you, don't mess with what's mine. I'm telling you to leave. I've waited enough for happiness. Oh, happiness? I'll give you happiness. Stop, stop. That's oh, enough. Oh, let leave. Me go. Let me go. go. She deserves it. <sighs> My darlings. I'm so sorry you had to see that. I'm very sorry, kids. It's okay. <sighs> At least now, you look just like Aphrodite coming out of the water. <laughs> oh. Is it true what you said? That is your happiness? <laughs> it's true. I say it from the heart. And you, you are my happiness too. I don't know what will happen next, but I know I'll love you forever. And I will always love you, Aphrodite. Oh, my ray of sunshine. <laughs> This is for the taxi, and a little extra, just until you find someone else. Paul, what are you doing? She's ugly, and I am beautiful woman. Her soul is beautiful. Can't you understand that? And mine isn't? 
Your soul can't be seen behind all that glitter and makeup. At least I haven't been able to see it. You need a rich man with no kids. to fix the horrible things that I've done. I don't want to interfere with the love you have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Our past. We'll tell them that we have a new life. <laughs> oh, I love you. 